Okay, getting to work on this Suburban. It's not been running real good with this fuel injection. We're getting ready to pull it off and change it over to this Edelbrock 750 that was on the Volvo the motor came out of. And I'm gonna put the HEI distributor back on it. So we're gonna get to work tearing this thing apart right now. fitting the new carburetor got the other stuff out of the way got the distributor ready to go in just trying to figure out which way we want to do all this stuff the carburetor mounted now we're trying to figure out a fuel line because these all come off the front so we're gonna try to bend up a piece of uh, leftover fuel line from when I plumbed up the Bel Air and get it back there where the factory fuel lines come out so you need all right making some fuel line for this thing trying to anyways got my Set up. This is basically a cheap unit from Harbor Freight and it shows. Just trying to put enough of a lip on here that the fuel line won't slip off. That will work for a fuel line. <clears throat> We're back from the parts store. We went and bought some uh, fittings and some hose. And what we're going to do is a little system we did on the... Uh, we had this on the big block wagon, which is where we're going to run this fuel line in to a T. And then off the little line, we're going to run that back into the return with a restriction to give us our fuel pressure. That way we don't need a, that'll regulate our fuel pressure for us. And it should work because it worked on the big block. <clears throat> okay, we got our restriction, which is a fitting for a oil pressure gauge. This is what we used on the wagon. So we're going to start here and then we can monitor it on our gauge to make sure that we've got enough fuel pressure. So we're just going to shove this uh, in this hose with a screwdriver, maybe. And you don't know if you can see in there, but uh, and that should slow enough fuel down that we won't build enough too much pressure, but still get pressure to the carburetor. You want some clamps? Clamps, please.
Okay, getting the uh, distributor wired up. I'm gonna go from Marshall, the would you get me a pair of strippers? factory plug to this is the HEI plug. Got the hot wire for the tack, or the hot wire for the coil, and then the tack wire. trying to lengthen this cruise control bracket because it goes in here and it's not quite long enough to reach so we're gonna add about uh, about an inch to it so if I can get it back out so what I've got because we're slightly shade tree mechanics around here is an old push rod I'm gonna cut it off cut a sleeve out slide this in cut this in half then slide it in weld it on one end and then weld the threaded end on so we can still adjust it on this side okay got the push rod cut down um, so basically how this in my head is going to work so put one side in here weld it put this side in here check it on the truck see how long it needs to be and then uh, weld it and that way we can Lengthen it to however long it needs to be to make it work on the truck. Here's the finished product for the uh, cruise control. I uh, lengthened it by cutting this piece of push rod out and leaving the original piece. Doesn't look the greatest, but uh, it'll work and you'll never see it once it's under the hood. So we're we'll going to put it on now. Probably work right there. Is that better than before? 